Pacific mornings on 5.31pi. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, 17 minutes past 7 o'clock. We get some technical difficulties and it happens. I think they call it Monday Islas, Lisa Adams. Is that what's going on over here this morning? I think uh... I think so, <laughs> but, yeah. But Garfield, no one likes Mondays. It's trying to give you a day off, maybe. <laughs> hey, it makes it easier on my side, you know. But I do I do <laughs> want to redo this intro because I, I, I do want to honor you a little bit this morning. So uh, joining us now on the show is Paralympic Shot Put F37. Do I say F37 or is it F37? 37's fine. Yeah, yeah. F37 champion Lisa Adams, who recently took home gold at the Oceania Area Championships uh, for throwing a best of 14.45 metres in round two of the competition. And with that, we do say good morning, Lisa, and welcome back to the show. Welcome back, back to the show. We did it. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we nice did to it. be back there. Yes, yes. It's good to have you. Um, I wanted to acknowledge you because um, some of the stuff that's going on, uh, like for me, when I saw you come out into the scene, it wasn't long before I saw you get gold. And I'm sure maybe that's not the story, but from my point of view, when I started seeing who's Lisa Adams, then Lisa Adams comes and then it's gold medal, and then now you're winning all these things. And I'm going like, mm-hmm. I- I'm wondering as a young person, Lisa, um, if this is something that you ever thought was going to be happening, like you'd be this successful in sports, or is this something that you sort of just picked up along the way in life? Um, the success part of it, I think, or like maybe, oh, sorry, yes, this later in life to this degree and calibre. When I was younger, I played sports, you know, all my life. I played basketball for about 15 years, you know, tried everything, but I always felt like I wanted to do more, but I kind of didn't know what that was Um, with with my life in general, not just the sporting Mm. thing. So yeah, this high performance stuff is, is very new. I've only been doing athletics for four years, but it's pretty cool. (laughs) It's pretty good. Yeah. And it must be good when you reach like a personal best, like 14.5 meters, um, just shy of your world record. But I'm wondering like behind the scenes, have you ever thrown Mm. Like further, but no one's there to, you know, like officially record it. And you're like, man, no, no one's here. Does that ever happen? Is that a situation that could happen behind the scenes? Yeah, of course. Say it's just training. It's like, you know, if you're playing basketball and you make shots at training, but not in the game. Um, we don't actually measure our throws at training because okay. uh, it's training. You know, you're, it's not a comp kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone does it. And, yeah, you kind of get the feeling that you've done it, but it doesn't count unless it's in comp, so it's kind of like, meh. Yeah. But it's, I guess it's cool to show you, you know, if you take it as what you're capable of um, with where you're at on that particular day. Yeah, how, yeah. how did you find winning, uh, taking out the competition this time around? Like, is it, um, I guess, with your experience now and doing it at the highest level of Olympics, does it make it something where you expect that of yourself now? Or are you always sort of going in as like, this is something new and whatever happens, happens? Pretty much, yeah. So, you know, when I go into a comp, I, I want to throw my best and what my best looks like on the day is is different each comp. Um, but I was happy with this one, not initially, because um, you always want to do better, eh? You're like, you're happy, but you're like, oh, man. Um, but I was. I was happy because it's a good reflection of changes we've made in the last six months kind of thing since Tokyo as well. Um, but it's a good step in the right direction. So, yeah. It, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't expect to win, but yeah, I always go in with the mindset of it's just me competing against myself. So I acknowledge the field of competitors, but I don't put everything, you know, on on them and stuff. It's always just me versus me in the circle kind of thing. Yeah. So, so you're yeah. not walking in with the drums beating. The champ is here. Dun, 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 dun. You're not yeah, doing yeah. that. <laughs> it's a little nah, bit nah, that, eh? it's just like yeah. <laughs> No, I like really? it. Yeah, no, I, I really like it. I'm, I'm wondering, um, as you continue your your career and as you continue being at a really high level in sports, I'm wondering if your sister, Valerie, is is still, although she's retired earlier this year, I believe March she announced or something like that, does she still mm. continue to motivate your journey? I remember you sharing something about that last year with her, um, with Aggie and stuff. So I'm wondering, even though she's retired, is there still parts of her that still aims to sort of motivate you and all those things? Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yes, you're like 100%, you know, um, above and beyond that. It doesn't, you know, matter where, what she's doing, you know, as an athlete at the moment, it's, um, yeah, she continues to motivate me as a person, as a sister, you know, her as a coach and me as her athlete. 
yeah, that's, you know, our, uh, that's our bread and butter, really. Um, yeah, so she does in every aspect of my life. She's still motivates me, even though she's super busy and, you know, still makes time for me and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it helps develop me in, in every aspect of my life. It's It's pretty incredible. Like, I'm really grateful to have her. Yeah, you've both achieved some incredible things in the world of sports. So I'm wondering, seeing her retire and I guess her resume and what she's been able to achieve, is, I guess what would, what else would you like to achieve in the sport before you retire as well? Because you've done it at the highest level. I don't know that there is a higher level. So like, what more do you want to achieve? Is it just to have as much as you can? Is it to always give the best that you could, you can do? Like, What's sort of your driving thing until the day you retire? I've always you know, said that I will continue to do it as long as I love it and as long as my body lets me. Mm. But I think away from, you know, myself as an athlete, what I would love to see is more para-athletes, you know, doing athletics and even more so, even more poly-para-athletes doing athletics. I think that'd be pretty cool. I would, you know, like to leave the sport better than I came into it. Um, And, you know, that's more more of our people involved whatever that may look like i think that would be pretty cool um because we're always the minority and eh? we don't mm-hmm. need to you know sweep that under the rug it's just a given yep. but you know so currently doing track and field i believe there's two pacific islander para athletes you know if we could get more than two like 10 20 or whatever mm-hmm. even five that'd be cool you know by by the time i leave but i just yeah, I would like to see the sport grow in that particular space. See our polys more involved in para polys as well. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, and I think you just doing that, Lisa, will then um, motivate people. You know what I mean? I know you're not aiming to then full on inspire people, but whether you like it or not, you're on the TV and then people see you. And then I think it's a good start. So I love that that's because that's like legacy stuff that you're talking about. You know what I mean? And and, and that's a beautiful thing. But um, Lisa, what else is coming up this year? Anything else significant that we should be aware of with um, in terms of shot putting or, or, or also know that you participate in different events as well? Yeah, no, not um, for us, not for the para, you know, athlete side of things. Yep. Oceania was pretty much us for this year because COVID's kind of shaken everything up. But our next big one will be World Champs in July next year in Paris. Um, So, yeah, I actually start back training today and we will just work towards that. It's quite a long way away, but we, it gives us extra time to build. So yeah, yeah, that's us for this year, you know, maybe domestic stuff or small comps Mm. kind of thing, but yeah, world stage pinnacle events. We have Paris next year. No, I love that. I love that. And I'm looking forward to that. Now, um, I I do want to, uh, I'll leave you in there. It's really good to talk with you, but before we do leave, I do want to just mention this weekend, Mate Mahtonga, is going against the Kiwis. I just wanted to know, is the flags going to be on everything this weekend, Lisa? Are you going to do that? Or are you for some reason going to jump ship? <laughs> oh, never. MMT, baby, that's <laughs> us. Um, I will actually be in Auckland for the game. Oh. Crowds aren't really my thing, so I'll probably watch it from the comforts of the couch at home. Right, right. But yeah, it's MMT. Oh. Like, ready to sing their anthem and everything. Yeah, have you ever been to a game? I'm what assuming not. So, who do you have? Who, me? No, Mate Ma I'm not Tongan, but I have to go for them. Like, uh, I, I went back in, I believe it was 2017 for that World Cup run that they'd done. Never, ever, ever have I felt an atmosphere like that. Not even being Tongan, and I have this pride, eh? Look at me, I'm wearing my oh, red, and I'm like, ah, I'm Tongan. I'm not really Tongan at all. But it was awesome, <laughs> eh? So, yeah. Any any, any no, sort no, of I'm supporting really message to the boys? Sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah, I've never been to a game, but I've been... I've been to Idaho, so close enough. <laughs> That's close enough. Sirens, <laughs> sirens. <laughs> Any message to the boys this morning, Lisa, before we before we uh, head off? Oh, just play hard. You know, don't need to say good luck. You're prepped. But, yeah, smash them. MMT, that's us. Awesome. Lisa, I really appreciate having you on the show this morning. Really want to honour you for your work, what you've done, the things that you've accomplished. And so it was just nice to have you and just catch up this morning. Thank you for joining the show, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure.